How did bears get inside of here? Lucas? Can someone tell me how this happened? Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. Oi, don't escalate. And now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Dad, come here. Come on. Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilled. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Oh, don't worry. They will find who was responsible for this. Because you're gonna have me to help. Has anyone seen how the bears even got in in the first place? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait, are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Yeah, uh, I'm with Ceres on this one. We can go and chase whatever rabbit we want to chase, but we need to think this one through. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. Don't do anything rash, Yelmar. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Someone the healer hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. I don't see anything like that. This no, is a right no, mess. I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What is some of them with magic? I mean... Okay, uh, what happened before the massacre, be precise? Who exactly died? Was this targeted on anyone specific? Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, mm. Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But mm -hmm. you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. Yeah. I doubt that this was done by. Crack himself? Hmm. Either way, what happened right before the massacre? I want you to be very precise, because any kind of detail is going to be very important here. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. That I heard. 
From the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. Okay, so if he was drinking all the way over here and the bears appeared on the other side, then we know where to look. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. That is the hope. Someone who was not paying attention to all of the drinking. Ah, oh boy. Pull yourself together, Senna. How'd they get in? Shot. <laughs> yeah, we have definitely got ourselves a right mess. Look the way a moment. Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. What is the gods doing? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. Why so? Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Yeah, I'd say a bear. But how did you all of a sudden appear inside? So the tales are true. Warriors and all right. What do we have here? Uh, definitely gonna examine the torso, I guess, or starters. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Yeah, that's not normal. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. And what about the head? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Okay, so... I've got no clue. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. Haven't heard of that one before. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. That does begs the question. Okay, if it is something that was eaten and whatnot. How? Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Okay, so you're familiar with this. What do you know about Berserkers? Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. What caused them to start rampaging? But yeah, I got a good idea what caused the transformation, but the question is why? I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. It just means we gotta find him. Do you know where he is? And also, should I take a look around for more? I was sure to have a look at the meat sample. Was inside of the cauldron as well? No? Just in the meat. Alright. Uh, Ceres, you started running away from me again. It's a bad idea. Who knows, there might be more BS. Uh, The kind we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Few had died then, and on a Jarl's son among them. If this turns out to be crack, I'll twist his head off. 
If Crack appears to be guilty, we'll try him and keep him with our customs. See Aye, traitors. and then I'll twist his Traitor, head off. Our lady. Yeah, please reserve any kind of judgment for the time being, okay? I know why you're upset, though. Yours? Freya, our mother. Freya, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freya, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrum. Mardrum? Does it have anything to do with Berserkers? Mardrum related in any way to Berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. It's the only lead we've got right now, but... One thing is for sure. Ceres wasn't lying. You know about plants. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Yeah, Ulrich still has got a long way to go. But either way, Mardrum, I never heard of it. Mardrum, never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. So they were just overdose on Wadrum? The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Yeah, we definitely shall. Do you know the way where to? Like, again, this is your home. I don't know where the hell we need to go. So, I'll just follow you. And hope for the best. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Especially with as many death. My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Yeah, and that's definitely not something we want to have right now. Likewise, do we need to consider possibly Nilfgar being responsible for this? I mean, if they want to sow discord and chaos, this would be the way to do it. Wait, this is towards Celis? It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. Yeah. Well, I certainly prefer the calmer balls than this madness. I mean, it started out fun, but. Yeah. I really hope Yalmar is doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Mm. Yeah, he is not stupid, that's true, but he's very impetuous. So, here it is. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. All the way at the other end. <laughs> Vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Apparently. But that also is bad news for us, because that might have washed away any kind of evidence. Oh. Right behind you. 
That's a relief. Okay, this the barrel has been broken, it seems. Or not. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the Um There's a trap! Shit. The spirit There's another egg forgotten in the barrel. Well they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Just blast it out of the way. Come on. Yeah. God, we might have been burned alive. Maybe. Oh. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. But that's good news, because that means the person it's responsible is still here. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah, uh, bygone days. Yeah. Uh, can you give me one moment? Okay, I seem to be walking very slowly. I was hoping to be moving a little bit faster, but I can only run. Um, this is fine. Hmm. Hi. Magic. A place of power. Uh, Ceres, can you wait one moment? I'm not going to leave this one behind. Plus, uh, can I? Hello. There we go. A little bit of axe increase. Where's that Quinn? It's Quen. I love Quen. And we might need the extra Quen power if we get more little traps sprung on us. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out. Did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. If they indeed broke a bottle, possibly thus with a certain type of alcohol, maybe we can chase that. Just means we gotta find whoever did this. Um. This way. Uh. Okay, found it. I thought the ball broke further ahead, but this will work. Someone walked through the mead. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. But the question is who? And is it someone we know or Indeed someone from Nilfgaard perhaps like again? <laughs> Could you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Whoever trail breaks off is responsible. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Well, they certainly grabbed the torch. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Arnfeld? Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Okay, so either Arnfall did this. I mean, he had the chance to, I guess, but... Either it's Arnfall or it's a setup. Let's ask him kindly, see what we can learn, okay? If he flees... Ah, we know enough. We'll chase him down. Okay, Roach, you better be here. You better Master. be here. Arnfold, why are you running? Why are you running? Where are I you fall. running off to? Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Well, I'm currently wondering, should we? You don't stand a chance. Excuse me. Where to see your that? Oh, you definitely, definitely don't stand a chance. But that brings the question to me of who is in on this with Come you. On, Roach. Where would you flee to? Where would you flee to? That's what I want to know. There's no Shit, running. He's fast. Oh, he's not fast enough. That's what. I can take him down at any point. Arnfold, you better just stop and answer us. I'm telling you, you can't escape me. 
Roach is too fast for you. Way too fast. Although, Roach, you do have to stay a little bit close by, just in case. Are you going to the beach? You know this, this is a dead end, right? Are these your accomplices? Friends. They're after me. No time to lose then. Kill him. Huh? Are you mad? I'm on your side. Not anymore. That's what you could have expected. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Definitely gonna keep him alive. And that's gonna be very easy to do. Alright, Arnfold. You've got some answering to do. Why did you help me? Because I want to hear why you betrayed my father, my brother, and our clan. Say it to my face. No uncreate should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's fun, I know the colors those men wore. That was the clan Twer, Sakhtartan. It's her. She's behind all this, isn't she? Makes the most yes. sense. Burner Braun. <sighs> all because she wants Van Rieg on the throne. And I guess you know her motive then. Is it the exact same? She wants to just have Van Rieg on the throne. Just keep it in the family. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Spanriga would have been left the only claimant to Skellige's throne. Yeah. Well, let's take this fella back to Kertrold. Let's make him answer for his deeds. Everyone needs to hear this. Let's get back to Kertrolda. Will you tell the Council of Jarls of the plot? I will. I was ready to die for Berner, but not like this. The thing will need to convene. Let's go. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Burn our brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. You're not have getting you away with this. To confirm your accusation. I we do. Better. I've a witness, Arnvald. Ceres speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Ceres and the Witcher descended into the cellars, who betrayed us? The clan that took you in? Good man. He's a servant to Oncreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Well, I can vouch for what Sarah says. I'm not sure if that's worth it, but there is one other piece of evidence. But first things first, I can vouch for what Sarah says. I can vouch for Sarah. She's telling the truth. You, yet another uncreat lucky. Did Sarah entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right, but it's no proof of my guilt. 
Well, apparently there's one more piece of evidence, so let's get that out of the bag, shall we? Got one more piece of evidence. Arnvold fled Kertrolda, rode to an agreed meeting point. The warriors who awaited him there tried to kill him. What's that to do with Burner? Those men wore Clan Twersek colors. This is no proof. It is inconclusive. Anyone might have donned our tartans. Burner's right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. Uh, you're making a big mistake here. Definitely. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother. You bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Yes, now. How did you do it? How did you know? Hi! And you left beforehand as well. Silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Son, Rika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crete. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. A harsh punishment fitting the harsh crime. Thank God for Svanrig. Werner had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanrig? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. I hope he chooses exile. Enough, whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. I haven't even had the now, chance to look at your previous I gifts. I forget it for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Yeah, you know what? Gladly. A death from above. A crossbow. Nice. I'll take a look at that later. I'll join you now. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Weren't long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Sarah Sancrates, ruler of the Skellige Isles. Some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Ceres!
And so the coronation ends, eh? Well, unfortunately it couldn't be anyone else at this point in time, which is a damned shame, but... <sighs> How are you two doing? Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Well, that's for sure, but... Nonetheless, you did a lot of this yourself as well. But... What would you do now? I mean, with Nilfgaard basically knocking on your doorstep? I'm surprised this wasn't because of Nilfgaard that all of this went wrong, but... Nonetheless, what would you do? What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. Sounds wise. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. If anyone can do it, that would hopefully be you. Either way, I guess that concludes my stay here. So, Ceres, I wish you all the best. And farewell. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Nilmar, how are you? You alright? So so. Anyway you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Die true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Yeah. Also, you really should clean up your face just a little bit, but nonetheless, you ought to be proud of her. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. But you do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a huff, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Yeah, but nonetheless, he did lose his mom. His only son, the one who was proud of. Blue Boy Lugos. By the way, I hope you can all fix all of the maps that are still going on. And get your heads together. I mean, you sure as hell will need it in the future. By the way, Hjalmar, I too wish you good luck. Take care, Hjalmar. <sighs> and you, Prach? Please take care of your kids, okay? Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Jarl can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Well, let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. And that's what family does. Wishing all three of you the best of luck. And of course, I meant to do that. Also, how do I get out of here? Because I have got no clue where we are, where the path is to leave, and nonetheless. He's as much courage as Cyrus, but she's got something else. Wisdom, cunning, it is a good outcome. That is certainly the idea. Cross our lads. Uh, well, we're gonna take a quick look around, see if there's any more people to talk to, and after that, well, it's time to move on. The King's Gambit. A Skellige saying holds that at a good feast, blood and meat flow in equal measure. Sadly, it seems someone took the saying literally and orchestrated a terrible massacre during the banquet at Kertrold. Between the third and fourth courses of roast ram, massive and raged bears suddenly appeared amidst the merrymakers. Before the hooch-dazed warriors could draw their weapons, 
The animals tore dozens of guests to shreds, including most of the claimers to the throne. Geralt managed to save most of the other attendees, but could do nothing to stop the torrent of accusations and calumnies directed at Krak once the dust had settled. The other Jarls accused him of conspiring to put one of his own on the throne. If an Arncrate could not prove his innocence, his family would forever lay buried beneath a mountain of shame. Yalmar and Ceres immediately took action each in their own way. If he wanted to investigate how the massacre had come to pass, Geralt would need to choose which arm crate to support. And Geralt decided to help Ceres. This was not surprising. Her calm and systematic approach to the matter bore a strong resemblance to how the Witcher himself conducted investigations. The thorough investigation led Ceres and Geralt to an unexpected discovery. It turned out Arnvald the Arncrate family's hitero faithful servant had had a hand in the massacre. It was he who spiked the meat with the blood and herbs that caused certain guests to transform into bears. It was he who then tried to kill Geralt and Ceres in the most underhanded manner when they were close to finding him out. Arnfald tried to save his life by fleeing, but he did not get far, for Geralt, accustomed to chasing down griffins and wyverns, Outrunning a clumsy and panicked rider proved no challenge. Ceres interrogated him adirately and got from him the identity of his patron. It turned out the culprit was none other than Brierna, King Bran's widow and mother to one of the claimants to the throne, Svan Riga. Brierna was tried by a council of Jarls, and though Geralt and Ceres presented damning testimony against her, for a moment it seemed the sly widow would escape justice. But in the end, the final nail in the coffin was pounded in by her own son, Svan Riga, who sensed her lie at once when she denied the accusations. Verna was given the sentence she deserved, and disgrace covered the name of the once proud Twiersack family. Which honestly is a damned shame for Svan Riga. For him to have to go into exile, or worse, it's... <sighs> It's a fate he does not deserve. But all wells that ends well with the coronation. At last the day had come. The long interdigum was at an end. The Jarls of Skellige gathered to choose which of the claimants would be crowned King Bran's successor. Notable representatives from the clans and common Skelligas alike rubbed shoulders around the sacred oak on Hindasfjall, eager to witness the coronation of their new ruler. Amongst them, Geralt of Rivia. And it was done. The Skelligas had spoken, choosing Ceres Ancrate to be their new queen. Though in the past all the women had sat on Skelligas' throne, many islanders worried that turbulent times would simply overwhelm young Ceres. And all this rejoiced at the outcome, believing Ceres' ascension guaranteed that peace would one day reign in Skellige. Who was in the right? Time would soon tell. And that leaves us at the end of our journey on the Skellige Isles, which means it is nearly time for us to return back home, or home, return back to Novigrad, and basically try and see if we can tell the Baron Sergeant that we would want to take Uma along with us. I'm not sure if we would agree that easily, but it's worth a shot, but nonetheless, before we do that, I just can't leave this. I need to travel to unskellig and i have to become the champion i mean it's in my blood i have to do it i don't necessarily have to return for the master of the arena bounty and whatnot but likewise i would like that as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sail to unskellig become champion sail all the way across collect my bounty return to kertrold finish this off with hopefully Getting the blacksmith to actually make me some weapons. Although I'm getting a feeling that he doesn't actually want to do any business with me anymore at this point in time. And after that, we set sail for Novigrad. Our adventure on the Skellige Isles has reached its conclusion. But with that massive griffin on that one island, I am sure that one day we shall return. Either to redeem ourselves by killing it, or because some other random side quest takes us right back. <laughs>